All right, hello guys. So Raphael here today, um, and I'm going to show you how to um, code an animation for your Xcode project. Now, this is this is only if you don't know how to do it. So, for example, you're making an app. I have no idea what to do. Simply um, watch this video, and you absolutely have to follow along. So yeah, you ca you can do this with a new project, or you can do this with an existing application. But here, I'm gonna do a new one just so um, just for this video. So you can call your product name anything. I called mine animation tutorial, and the, the language is Objective C for this video. I'm gonna show you how to code Objective C in this. Now the devices is iPhone. You can actually use any device you want. I wanna use iPhone, and hit next. Save it somewhere nice and safe, and now that our project is created. So I'm gonna make it portrait mode. So untick landscape left and right. And I'm simply gonna. Well, actually, no, if you don't want to, you can tick this if you want to, but it, this, this is not essential. Upside down. So now all we have to do is design the main the storyboard and then code or everything in in our implementation files and header files. So go to your main that storyboard. If you don't see this left option here, simply if, for example, if your Xcode looks like this. Just um, go to the top right corner and select the left one, make sure it's blue and it will be there. So simply go to your main of storyboard. And I'm going to remove the left pane here. I'm going to drop down the size to your 4 inch view. Orientation is portrait. And our devices, since, we, since I dropped down the screen, I'm going to change the device to iPhone 5 just so it fits the screen. Because you know, if you if you leave it as iPhone six, you'll like be way too big. And this thing won't fit. But anyway, so so now the for the animation images, make sure the anime the images that you want is in is in your project. So on the left on the left panel, on sorry, open up your supporting files folder over here on the left. The, so you click the arrow, you should see this. And now we're gonna drag in the images that you want into our project. So mine are here on my folder. So these images are actually in my um, in my pre in my game that I'm creating. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a series of these five images. And you can actually use absolutely any image you want, but I'm I'm just gonna use this. So you can drag in how many depending on how much images you have. Just drag them in. And you're gonna make sure this box here is ticked. Copy items if needed, and create groups is also selected. And the animation tutorial in add to targets is ticked as well. And click finish. Now, the NSRA is it's gonna be playing these five images over and over and over again, so it looks like it's actually running, like like this. I have a, I made. I made this with Photoshop, it's transparent background, so it, it gives the illusion. And in the main storyboard, what we have to do is um, drag in a button in and drag in an image view so that when we hit, click the button, it will activate the animation so he's like running. Now, if you want, no, I'll also get, I'll get to it if you want to like, start the animation while you just load up the, the screen. I'll do that right after. So simply drag in a button, and we're gonna call this start animating. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, just so you guys can see it. So that's nice and big, nice and neat. Simply look for an image view, drag that right on, make the size like this, because we don't want our image to be way too big. Just want it to be like good, good oh, sorry, visible enough. And now I'm gonna select the image to be run wanted PNG. So now, now that now that's pretty much it for the um for the main of storyboard. We have already the um added an image view in. We've added a button in, which will start this running. So go to your header file or view control .h. In Objective C, we call the .h files or header files. .m files are implementation, where all the coding goes in. In .h, where we all declare the images, are the UI buttons, integers, and booleans. So, underneath our add interface, 
gonna do an open curly bracket and drop some lines. And make some space here because we're gonna code an IV action in for the button. So simply type in IB outlet UI image view, face asterisk, and this is called animation. And now UI button for the button, space asterisk, start. Oops, sorry, make sure it's like animating. Okay. So yeah, these are our two. The image view is that run the run one, the PNG that we just put in. The UI button is a start animation. And now in between the closing curly bracket but before the at end, make some room, make some more room and do a dash or hyphen open bracket IV action close bracket and it's called it is gonna be called start animation and colon bracket ID close bracket sender semicolon. So that so yeah that is the IB action that we have coded so far. Now we're the red girl down gonna link it all up in our main dot storyboard. So like we're gonna link up the animation so then when we code for the animation this is the one that we're talking about. So simply talk sorry talk sorry click the top of your view controller so it's highlighted blue and go to the sixth tab along which is the connections inspector and um animation goes to the image start animating goes to the button and start animation goes to the button and select touch up inside if you accidentally clicked something else simply select click x if this is if you accidentally um selected the wrong one link it up again and select touch up inside so yeah that and, and it will work now here we have the um we have the uh, navigator inspector the utilities now the debug menu, it's good to enable it because it will tell what crashed your application, so it's good to enable your debug menu. As I said, just go to the top right corner and make sure it's selected blue, like this. However, since it takes up too much space, I'm just going to close that up. But it's, it's good for new programmers, so you can tell what crashed your app. Okay, now simply go to your implementation files, or .m files, and now you can see that Xcode has already given us a bunch of coding, but we simply have to find our, sorry, our um, open curly bracket, and we'll find our super viewed load, and we'll make some space in between. Now this code here is on um, the viewed load code. This is what happens when like when you click the play button, when or when someone taps your application. This is the first code that will run. So if so, what we're gonna do is type in animation which is the image view that we just um, linked it up and declared earlier dot hidden equals no and start animating which is the button that we just put in dot hidden equals no okay yeah that's that's actually it I'll as I said earlier I'll get to if you want to just simply like if you don't want the button there and if you just wanted to start animating while you tap your application I'll get right to that after. So now find a met find sorry find a place where it's not taking up a met hidden. So in my case, it's underneath our at implementation view controller. You can tell if it's taking up a met head by the open curly bracket and a closing curly bracket. That is that is like the code for for one met head, for example. So find a spot where it doesn't take one up. So go to your header file, and we're gonna copy and paste this IB action in and go to our implementation file and command V to paste changing the semicolon to an open curly bracket and drop some lines oops I mean okay so this is now this is where it will this is where it will start the animation so simply do animation that hidden equals no start sorry start animating that hidden equals it will hide itself now animation dot the animation images equals open square bracket now this is where the NSRA comes in. So NSRA oh, sorry. Make sure they are um correctly capital space array with objects colon open square bracket UI image space image named colon at sign open speech marks open speech marks 
it ended with a comma. Remove your count integer. And now it has simply typed in your image. So line is called run one the PNG. And now I'm gonna copy and paste it five times. Depending on how much sorry, depending on how much images you added into your project, simply paste it down that much. And I'm gonna change it all the way to run five, which was some um, so now it will play one, two, three, four, five like really quickly so it looks like it's running. So end it with a uh, nil. And yeah, that's the NSRA right now. So all we have to do now is just, um, make it so that um, it will confirm that it will actually play. So animation space set animation repeat count and zero. Now zero is actually infinite. This will make this play infinitely. If you want it to play once, simply set it to one. But I want it to play infinitely, so I'm gonna set it to zero. And animation dot animation duration. So now this is how long the images will switch. So zero point five. Because it'll be moving like ever so quickly that you don't you won't notice it switching. It'll look like it will look like the character is running in frame by frame. Alright. Now, lastly, animation space start animating. And now what? So that's pretty much it. And now we're all done. Now I'll now I'll tell you first what we have done. So in our .h, I'll tell you what we have done here. So our animation, we have declared it so that this is the one we're talking about. That's why we linked it up over here. So it linked it up to there. So we know this is the image we we're talking about. Now the UI button that we declared in our header file, which is this, is this button right here. So we have to give it a name so that we know we can hide it. Now this this is really what we've coded for the button, this IB action here, which we have put in our .m. So now this is the this is what's gonna happen in between it. So what we did was I'll put an NS array so it will um start the images playing it then so it will play all the five images like really quickly and then we did we put zero here on the animation repeat count, which is infinite. And this is how how fast the images will switch. So uh, we did 0 0.5 to give the illusion. And to start animating, which will start the animation. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So click the play button. Now start animation. And now as you can see, it is, it is running. So what it's doing, it's playing all the five images so it looks like it's a running person. All right, now if you ha now if you don't want a button here, so like you just like for example, let's click the play button, and and you want the animation to play as you load it up. Well, simply I'll show you what to do. All you have to do here is um copy and paste this in our in your view did load. So I'm gonna erase this whole IB action thing. But yeah, that, that's actually it. if you want to um. If you just want to, like, you know, um, like, like, if you want the button to be clicked while you animation. Now, if you this, if you just don't want it to be clicked and just want the animation to start, just do that, and make sure it is in the view to load code, which is like, again what happens when you load up the view, as I said earlier. So that means that it will recognize this and it will um, it will it will like tell the code to to um start the animation and while you load up the app, the app. So which I'll show you right now. See, it started well when we loaded up the app. So, like, when when people click on your app, it will start an animation like already, like this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more um Xcode tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.